Hi friends, what's this application? This is in two part scripts. In the part one, we have discussed that how this layout or this how this components we have placed in a Kinter window. So here, uh, all our intention is to push the data of a student data into our uh, MySQL or SQLite database in a student table. So here I can enter the name of the student, let's say in the sample name. And here is the class means I can pull down a combo box, select one of the option and then I can select the gender. Gender is a radio button selection. So once I am selecting one, the other one is uh, deselected and I can select whatever I want. And then I can enter some mark here. So and I can just go for a picture upload or upload of the student. I can just select this and open it. I have uh, here I have I can set it to PNG files or JPG files. I am given a PNG file and selected the one PNG file here. Let me open it. Okay, now the preview has come. This is the preview of what the image we have selected. Now this is like our uh, student picture. So now all this uh, we have discussed in our part one up to this point, including this preview. Now in this part, what we will do is this particular image along with all the student data, once we click it, this will go to the database. Here is the demo. Was this particular area where it says message here. Now once I click this, this record is inserted and the, it returns me the ID equal to 3. Means this is the unique ID of the data, whatever is inserted to the database, that ID I am getting back from the database that it is unique ID is 3. That means it's a confirmation that data has stored inside the database. We'll work on this second part now. Before we write uh, the code, visit this URL and you can find all description of it. The part one video is here, then the total part one code and you can come down part two here and you can copy this code to create your MySQL table. So you just copy this structure and run it. The entire source code also you can download it below that. This is the entire source code and you can come here and copy the entire source code. We'll write our code to insert the data because now we'll be handling MySQL database. So first thing what you'll do is connect to our MySQL database. For that we are using SQL Alchemy. Here it is two lines of code. So first here at the first line I am importing the library here and next line I am just connecting to MySQL database. Here is the ID then the password here then database local host and this is my DV name. In your case it, this details will change and if we are connecting to or working in SQLite then the also this, this particular line will change and this will keep the connection object or variable whatever it is my connection name same so the rest of the code will be using the same name even if we change the database also and if you are not using SQL Alchemy other database also if you suppose SQLite 3 or other things you are using drivers you are using then also keep the name as my connection here so the script will remain the same now let's come back to our code you can see here two buttons we have used one button is for uploading in the part one we had discussed the code also in the part one we have discussed this and another button we had told b2 my uh, it will trigger once it clicks it, it says add data and once you click it this will call the function my add my add is where the data will will be inserting to our table so here is my add inside that we'll write our code so for that let's first Inside that I will write it first global the file name because this is the name of the file what the user has selected. We have already seen at line number 53 this, this file name variable is uh, collected and this is global variable so it is available to other functions also. This is the path of the file of the student's picture or the photo whatever we have uploaded. Now what we are doing is actually it is not required here but I am creating a variable here valley validation equal to true because in the further expansion of this script we will keep a flag so anywhere the validation the inputs are failed suppose in case of mark you have entered a character there so this validation for that purpose but in this script we will not use this so subsequent script will work on that now I will collect the data so my name first is my name my name is what the user has entered the name so I will say e2.get this is the entry box the name entry box so that data is e2 e2 is there at the top we have here you see this this is the e2 this entry box data we are getting at e2 gate 
fine so here we are so my name i got one is there so then my class because here one combo you know we have used one combo box to select one of the class one two three four so that data one you are getting cb1 is our combo box and that data is get so get we have got it now now my mark what is the my mark this is the variable we'll say we are setting it by reading the e5 e5 is the mark entry box so that data i am getting by e5 gate now what is the gender gender is what is the radio buttons i have selected so my gender my gender is equal to r1 sorry not t1 r1 underscore v that, that is the string variable we have set it so that value i will get it get so that will tell me whether male female or others out of these three choices which one is selected now these are all the data as whatever we are uh, so far collected now for your just for your uh, comparison or understanding let me just run this one so you can see all the variables or whatever we have got it now it will not work here this is the name so you can see here fine so here my name e2 get so this is whatever i am i will create here that will get it in the my name variable class whatever i am selecting then gender whatever the radio button i am selecting here you can see my gender mark is here right of it so though the sequence value mark is coming before whatever mark i enter here my mark i will get the variable now what is left is the binary data or the picture data whatever we have uploaded that will how we'll take it read and then push it to the database so for that purpose i will say fob or file object fob i'll create a file object now now for that fob equal to open now file name file name is what i am uh, previously uh, as a global variable i got it at line number 58 the same file name i am using here and what way i will open it read binary data rb is the read binary because i am not going to write anything i just want to read in the binary mode so rb fine so now my file object is there now what i will do in using using this fine this one so i will just create fob equal to uh, if O B dot read read the entire data here now i have got it we'll create a tuple using all this data so i am saying my data this is the tuple i'll create sorry right inside that first none why i'm writing none here is because one unique uh, auto increment id column is there which will return me the id for that column i did not supply the data so that because mysql will return me the data so for that i am using you can see the structure of the table here you can see i had to supply for the rest of the columns excluding this auto increment id field id field will be automatically inserted by mysql database and it will return me that that we'll see how we'll read now the my name my name is the name what i have entered my class or the whatever at the variables i have created at the top those things only i am in the same sequence then my mark sorry my mark now after that my gender so these are the variables i am clear uh, creating f o b this is my binary data or the binary data for our photo or the image of the student now then the i'll let me write the query so my query equal to insert into student now table name is student bulb so this is my student name values is up let me put it in upper case values now here i will be using parameter we call it parameterized query and this data will be replaced sequentially on this parameters why i am using parameterized queries this is a security issue because i am telling query and data separate this is required for the injection attack to prevent the injection attack i can directly write this inside the query my values values but now my our database knows that what it is receiving query separately and data is separately so at the database end it will replace it so this is for that security purpose to prevent injection attack i am using parameterized query so i am telling handle this as strings sorry all s equal number i have to put i cannot that cannot i cannot change it also one two three i have written around six i have to write so another s 
one two three four five and then one more s now let me close so what happened this uh, six one two three four five six see, see this data i have six and here also i am putting six because each one will replace one one there and this data will transfer to my uh, database separately so that is the main reason why this is done is to prevent injection attack now what happens i will give my con sorry it is my connection you, we have already discussed that what is uh, my connection so no sorry i will do one id id equal to my connection what is my connection at the top we have here it is let me move up a bit here it is uh, at the top here at line number nine this is the connection object or connection string whatever you call it so i am just getting that here my connection now that i will use the word execute now here when i am using the word uh, my connection execute now here i will say already i have given this one insert my my data just a minute let me just move here i will say first my query the query part i am sending and then i am sending my data part so there are two different parts first data then query here i have written and i am sending the query and the data so these two passes separately so now what happens this id holds the value okay now let's just come out fob sorry here this line has to go up now fob read here it should be fine because that that binary data only i am pushing to the table now let me come here id now once this is there l message l message is the label what you have created at the top to display the what message the database returns here it is the right side message here we have written once uh, four then six yellow message here what's this here this name is l message we have given the label name here so that we are using now we'll change that text so l message now i'll for that i will use config config means i can uh, any of the options i can change the value so i'll i'm changing the value of text option so i will say id uh, id equal to or id is now i will say add this to a string because i have because i want to display the what is the id of the database return you just see here we have given none now once all these datas are inserted this much datas are inserted mysql will return me the id so that id is a integer value that value when i am displaying i have to convert it to string so str then inside that that id i will write so id dot last row id so this will give me the id of it suppose i want then what happened then I, that i am converting it to a string and with this label this is just a text i am declaring it that so that it will show me id equal to 3 id equal to 4 like that it will keep on displaying me now what happens i will just print the same thing also uh, i'll write it in the console so i can print the value id of row added this also i am giving it so this will be printed to the console not to the application now again id now i'll say last row id again i will because it's a string so str let me give it come to the sorry uh, str here i have to close it okay so that's all this is all my application if there is no error i will able to add the data now i saved it running it once let's see whether uh, any error is no error so far now let me add one uh, some test data i am plus to net here okay class it's a combo box so i'll select one five what's this message here is written this will change with the id now i am giving it mail now mark is 78 upload a picture i will put it let me go for third one i okay this is the preview now once i add data if there is no error then i will get the id here and at the same time my console also print that let's see what happens id equal to 4 okay it has printed it's not able to see it okay i'll not able to put it inside the screen so now this id is equal to 4 means the whatever data i have inserted it has gone to the database and 
my sequel has written me that it is like your stu multiple students are taking admission here what's the student id or student roll number or the admissions uh, number all these things because it has to be unique so suppose 10 terminals are trying to insert the data only no there cannot be a duplicate id there anybody everybody will get its own unique id that is why it's a return from the database that's all friends so there was a question how we'll insert the data along with this image and all to a bulb co column so along with the other data we can store the image also the entire source code is available you can download with the sample images and all and if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it accordingly we'll modify work on it for to improve it further my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials please share this with your friends and thank you for watching